Hey, how's it going? So I'm doing a first episode of Amateur Hour. Um, I've been finishing the basement of this house for some time. I've done most of everything um, myself, but I haven't really thought to actually videotape any of it. So I'm actually gonna build the base for my shower today. Um, I'm gonna try to, I've never worked with concrete. I explicitly had all the plumbing done. You can kind of see the old concrete um, that's been um, broken up and relayed before. I had that contracted out because I didn't want to do concrete. And here I am going to do the base out of concrete. So I have no idea what I'm doing and we're gonna try this out. So I've got some uh, roofing paper here and I think I'm gonna lay this down to protect the wood. Um, I've already mixed up some concrete, get it outside. Um, I brought a bucket in and I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut a hole in that um, so it goes around the drain here. So that's just an old uh, paint roller that happened to fit the hole. Uh, just keep some concrete out there and the plan is to concrete um, kind of a slope from the edges down to the center of the drain. Um, and that's the plan here. So I'm gonna cut up this paper, get it over there, uh, and then start pouring some concrete down. We'll see how it goes. Well, here's two bags mixed in, uh, lightly tamped down. Gonna go make another one. Um, and then hopefully that'll be enough. And then I gotta start grading it all down. I'm um, just gonna tamp down just to see how thick it's gonna be. But, um, back up to make some more. All right, so here we are. Um, I've kind of, I got two bags in here, didn't end up using the third. Um, and I think I've got an okay slope. It's probably hard to see um, from the corners and kind of the edges in. Um, measured it, just kind of poking through the, you know, the cement in the center and then poked something through the edge of the, the edge there. Uh, probably got a inch or so slope. Um, it's not the best thing in the world, not terribly smooth, but I'm gonna roll that. Um, any other discrepancies, um, kind of waves or whatever in the in the concrete, I should be able to work um, just putting the thin set over. So after this, this has to set for, I don't know, like a month <laughs> almost. Um, you know, I'll check it or whatever and I'll keep the fan on to dry it off a little bit. Um, as this goes, then I got some red guard. So red guard's just going to be the uh, waterproof barrier kind of over this. Um, and then from there, I'm probably going to uh, over the top, you know, thin set it and then do my tiling down here and then thin set up the walls um, to do a complete tile. So uh, once this starts to set up a little bit, I'm going to cut all the, the extra black paper, um, the roofing paper off the corners and just see if I missed anything. can always just mix up a small amount of um, concrete. Got a whole nother bag um, if I need to fix any bits of the corner or whatever. But We'll let that go. Um, hopefully I didn't cover up too much of the drain here. As you can see, I had that paint roller just kind of sticking in the hole, um, just so nothing got in the hole. And then I, I X'd out the paper, um, so the flaps kind of went out a little bit and kind of tapped around the edges, um, just to smooth it around. Um, it should be fine. Red guard will go all up in that, um, the drain around the edges, should waterproof it. Uh, anything that I miss or anything off, obviously thin set can kind of uh, pack that in a little better too. Should be all right. And then drain cap actually just goes on top and screws in to whatever height I need um, after I get the tiles in there. So that'll work for now. Uh, all right. So I realized I didn't really recap what I've actually done in this house since this is the first video um, of the, the shower. This is actually the bathroom. Um, so I put up the, the, the uh, cement board back here. Um, I contracted out all the sheetrock just because I wasn't going to do that. It's not my game. Um, I've done all the electrical in the basement, so all the outlets, all the, the wiring. Um, the soffit, I had to design the soffit to go around um, the basement ducting. Um, this is actually an unfinished wide open block basement to begin with. So I contracted out to get an egress window um, built down here because this is going to be a bedroom, kind of like a master suite that's going to be the, the bathroom. Um, kind of tooling around here. This is the rest of the bedroom. Um, so I had the ducting done. I did all the electrical, the wiring for the lights. I don't have all the lights uh, input yet, so I've just got some bulbs in here. Um, probably can't see it, but uh, so I just put in the cans, so I'm gonna get that. Um, I do have the lights over in the den area. So the den's a little bit more finished. So basically just the living room area. Um, I designed, or I got all the lights. Uh, for the basement. So it was six down here and that's actually kind of cool. I got uh, turn them off, turn them back on. They kind of go into 
nightlight mode, I guess. I thought that was kind of cool, so I bought those. They were only a couple extra bucks uh, compared to what regular camp lights were. So you just flick the light and they come back on. Pretty sweet. Uh, furnace room, probably can't really see it, but I, I threw a bunch of rock wool um, just to soundproof the whole um, furnace room area. I just have to put some poly tarp uh, against the wall. The outside wall, I had them sheetrock there. So I insulated uh, in between the furnace room, the den, the furnace room, all the other rooms just for soundproofing um, with rock wool. And then the exterior wall is actually two, or sorry, three quarter inch rigid foam. And then I framed over that. Uh, and then I insulated it with just regular old um, pink stuff fiberglass insulation. <clears throat> so uh, over here, I haven't really done anything uh, with the, the laundry room. That's pretty much exactly how I got it. Um, same appliances, it's just my shelf with tools and whatnot. Um, stairs were shot when I came in, so I tore those apart and built these. I really didn't know what I was doing there, but they turned out pretty good. They're straight, they're solid, a million times better than what they were when I bought the place. Um, they actually had the stringers on the side uh, over here, and they had missed probably three or four of the studs going down to the stringer, so the whole stringer for the stairs was bowed at least three, four or five inches. So all of the stairs were kind of cockamamie to the side. So tore that apart, fixed it, made it better. Um, I guess upstairs, I've done quite a bit in the kitchen. So tile, uh, a little dirty, but uh, that's all brand new. This was originally, I don't know, like three or four layers of linoleum and plywood. A uh, whole bunch of work I had to do in here. And this is Kitchen is brand new. Um, I've got the fridge pulled out just because I'm doing some stuff with the pantry cabinets. Um, all new cabinets. Uh, let's see, new lights, put those in. Um, sheet rocked most of the upstairs uh, in here. Had to tear it apart. Brand new appliances, uh, brand new countertops, brand new floors, brand new pretty much everything in this room. Turn the light on here. New butcher block countertops. They look awesome, love them. New sink. Um, did the plumbing for that, did the electrical for that, um, for the uh, dishwasher and whatnot. Uh, new fridge. This actually was, used to be over here, was like a kitchenette, little dining room area, but it's, I don't know, like five feet wide, and it was not a good choice for a uh, dining room area. So, one side, you can kind of see, these are eight foot pantry cabinets. I actually had a hell of a time getting them upright because my ceilings are exactly eight foot. Um, so I ended up having to cut off the base uh, of these cabinets. Actually, there was no base. I just cut off <laughs> enough off of the bottom to lift them, you know, turn them up, right? Uh, and then I got some blocks underneath this one. Did that yesterday. I've basically got to screw them in the wall um, and kind of affix them to the wall so they're not gonna go anywhere. I uh, got the cabinet over the fridge. Fridge will get scooted back. Um, but yeah, did the 220 for the uh, the oven. They used to have a built-in oven and a range top, like an actual electric stove top. So I, I put that in as just a regular oven. Um, over here used to be carpet. I tore up all the carpet. Big grandiose plans of restoring the hardwood. As you can see, it's kind of half-assed. I gave up on that actually um this is my just prep area with junk and tools and stuff um i gave up on the whole idea of refurnishing the floors i did it once in this room which i was not happy with the results um didn't look very good it's just dusty right now but it uh didn't turn out so hot neither did this room um again it's mostly just dust but underneath there is where i actually finished and sanded the floors um, they just didn't look right. As you can kind of see the belt sander when I was trying to refinish them, kind of tore up the edges and the stain caught that. And there's just really big gouges and whatnot. So I say screw it. Um, probably just gonna buy uh, some engineered hardwood or something just to go over top. Um, bathroom was pretty much how it is now. So it's a brand new vanity I put it into the plumbing. Um, just kind of fixed it there, but everything else was Pretty much the same. Um, obviously I've painted and painted all the trim. Trim was that ugly kind of 70s, 80s, cocoa, dark brown. Um, that was the same for all the windows, except for I think that one, that one, and that one. 
Um, those were brand new white windows. So in the big living room window and that side of the house, I went ahead and just painted all the frame windows, <clears throat> painted on the walls, uh, kind of played musical uh, lights, kind of moving these around. I've got one chandelier that's gonna go over there because that corner is going to be uh, the quote unquote dining room. Um, just kind of in that little nook area with that half wall is gonna be a dining room table. So that'll be the new area for that. Um, there they had uh, more linoleum, just like they did in the, the kitchen area. So once I took down uh, the carpet, took all the linoleum out of that side and tiled it, this side didn't have hardwood floors under that. So I just put some plywood down to level it out with the hardwood floor. Um, so I can engineer hardwood just right over the top of all of it. <clears throat> but yeah, in a nutshell, that's what I've done. I mean, obviously a whole bunch more outside and haven't taken care of the leaves this year, but the deck was shot when I got here. Um, the wood was rotted out. So I tore apart the whole thing, uh, rebuilt this deck along with the stairs. Um, they had the um, kind of the handrails going all the way around, made the backyard look really tiny. <laughs> so I went ahead and, um, as you can see, I just got two end pieces here for the handrails. I, I built those and put them up um, and it looks a lot more open. It's only like a one foot drop, so it's, it's legal without the handrails um, and makes it look a lot better. But yeah, that's just a quick recap of everything I've done uh, thus far, and uh, I will continue to do more amateur hour items that I have no business doing.